All right, happy Friday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. And of course, this is the time of the day where we talk tropics. And we have some interesting stuff happening out there. Of course, we're still in September, which is typically the busiest month of hurricane season. So I'm tracking the tropics, letting you know if we have anything to worry about. And the answer is yes, we possibly do have something to worry about if you live along the Gulf Coast. At this point, though, it's been a pretty busy season already. We've had seven named storms starting off with Alberto early in the season. Of course, Beryl, which became a monstrous Cat 5 hurricane. Chris, Debbie, Ernesto, Francine, and Gordon are most recent tropical storms. So the next name on the list would be Helene. Do we have Helene brewing? anywhere in the Atlantic Basin. Well, we could certainly have Helene developing by the middle to end of next week. That's what some of the models are indicating. In fact, we're monitoring three areas of potential development. The first is going to be right around the Northwest Caribbean, Southern Gulf of Mexico, now a 50% higher medium chance that we could get something going maybe a tropical depression, tropical storm, or hurricane over the next week or so. The other two systems are out in the West Central and Central Atlantic. They've dropped to only a 10% chance for tropical cyclone formation. So let's get back to that potential Gulf system. The area we're watching, a potential disturbance in the Caribbean or Southeast Gulf, could develop over the next week. Area of low pressure could form this weekend or early next week. Definitely by the middle of next week, it looks like the chance will start to increase. So that means at this point, we don't have an area of low pressure out there. So nothing really to track just yet. However, once we get that low pressure system to form, we are gonna have the potential for that to blow up in that warm water of the Gulf and the Caribbean, and it could quickly develop and move north. The track is still uncertain. It's something that we are keeping a close eye on. The models haven't quite gotten a handle on exactly where it's gonna head once it develops and pushes into the Gulf. So you certainly need to keep checking back for updates because of course we will be here to interpret those models and let you know what they are showing. This is the setup or the reason why we think we're going to get a tropical system developing either in the Caribbean or the Gulf over the next week. This is called the Central American Gyre. It's basically a big, sprawling, broad area of low pressure that kind of likes to spin and sit right around Central America. It's usually most common, most prevalent in the late spring closer to the beginning of hurricane season and the early fall, closer to the mid to latter part of hurricane season. So we're a few days away from early fall and we are going to have the potential for this Central American gyre to flare up some. So it's basically spinning, producing rain, heavy bursts of rain at times, thunderstorms across Central America, but that large scale circulation can sometimes break down and kind of spin off some smaller areas of low pressure that can gradually blossom into tropical systems. So that's what the models are showing happening over the next week. In fact, the chance for that happening has now increased to 50%. That is still a medium shot, but if it goes up to 60 or 70%, of course, we're going to be more concerned that this is something we may have to deal with next week. But at this point, even with that 50% chance, we have to watch this closely because notice the orange highlighted area of that potential development. It does include the Northwest Caribbean Sea. It includes much of the Yucatan Peninsula, Western Cuba, but now it also extends into central and southern portions of the Gulf of Mexico. So it's getting closer to the Houston area where we could have this possible tropical system develop. So I don't want you to panic just yet. Over the next 48 hours, no shot for development, but over the next week, we are going to have that chance for a tropical system to blow up, maybe in the Gulf or the Caribbean. So let's see what the GFS model says. Futurecast, tracking your weather hour by hour, just showing a lot of tropical moisture basically through the weekend and early next week. But here's where it gets interesting. We are stopping the clock here right around the Thursday time frame, Thursday at 4 p.m. This is next week. And look what we have here. You can see that counterclockwise circulation, the system trying to get better organized, and it appears that we will likely have a tropical depression or tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico by this time. Now this particular model, the GFS or American model, has this tropical system potential in the central 
or eastern Gulf of Mexico. Notice it's not over towards Houston, but the European model, that's the other long range model, kind of shifts this a little bit further to the west. So this is something that we are closely monitoring. Once this area of low pressure develops, that track will likely kind of shift. So we are going to keep a close eye on things because we're still not out of the woods here in Houston. Overall, though, for the big shot for rain over the next week, this takes us all the way through Thursday. Models are keeping the majority of that moisture off to our south and east. So notice the yellows, the oranges, the reds, indicating that potential for several inches of rain out over the central and even northern portions of the Gulf, even starting to push into parts of the Louisiana Gulf Coast, southern Mississippi, southern Alabama. But if this system takes more of a west or northwesterly track, that would shove some of that moisture into our direction. So depending on the track of this thing, our rain chances could go up big time by the middle to end of next week. So we'll have to watch it closely. That's not the only system in town. We are watching a couple of other disturbances. This one being named at this point by the National Hurricane Center, Invest 96L. So this basically means the National Hurricane Center is investigating this area of low pressure that is formed to see if it has gained tropical characteristics, but they're not really seeing anything too impressive. The reason why? They're only giving it a 10% chance for development over the next two days and over the next seven days. You'll see it several hundred miles south and east of Bermuda. It's likely just going to hang out over the west central Atlantic and then basically kind of fizzle out. The last system we're monitoring, the remnants of Gordon still just kind of sitting in the central Atlantic, of course. Before, Gordon was a tropical depression and even strengthened to a tropical storm, and then it kind of fell apart. So right now it is still disorganized, and the chance for redevelopment of Gordon, the chance for Gordon to come back to life as a tropical system has definitely gone down today compared to yesterday, down to a very low 10% chance. So I think it's unlikely that Gordon will once again return to tropical storm status, and even if it does, it likely will stay over water be a fish storm and not be a threat to any land. So that is good news for that one. However, we do have to watch that potential development in the Caribbean or the Gulf. If we get that low pressure going, check out the water temps in the Gulf. Super steamy out there. We got temps soaring into the 80s. That warm water acts as fuel for these systems. It's warm, it's deep water, and yes, those systems can develop quickly as they roll over that warm water. We're also monitoring that Saharan dust. Notice overall, the Saharan dust is kind of diminished across the Atlantic. It's gone away completely for the Caribbean and for the Gulf. So the Saharan dust brings in drier air and that kind of hinders tropical development, but we don't have much out there. So that means there's a higher shot over the next few weeks that we could get some of these tropical systems going. Still showing a little bit of dust near the west coast of Africa and in the eastern Atlantic, but for the Caribbean, for the Gulf of Mexico, that dust is not really going to hinder any tropical system over the next week or two. So for the rest of September, these are the hot zones or hot spots that we look for the chance for tropical development, at least the higher shot. That's going to be the Western Atlantic, the Central Atlantic, and even into the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, a higher than normal chance that we could get a tropical system to form. Also, October can be a pretty busy month for hurricanes as well. Chance for development not quite as high in October, but the area in orange will be that area highlighted for a higher than average shot for development. So that would include a chunk of the Western Atlantic and also the Southern and Southeast Gulf of Mexico and Northwest Caribbean, the exact area that we are monitoring for a possible tropical system to develop over the next week. So a lot to monitor out there. I think the two systems in the Atlantic really don't have much of a shot to develop, but we are concerned about that system that could pop up in the Caribbean or the Gulf. We are still in a very busy portion of hurricane season, typically September, the first few weeks of October are super active. So we've got to get through these next few weeks. Hopefully we don't get anything else in Houston, but stay alert because the system could pop up quickly next week and you never know if it heads here, you need to be prepared, be ready to either evacuate or be ready to hunker down and make sure you have those hurricane emergency 
gear supplies. So the good news is that we are getting closer to the end of hurricane season, which of course ends on November 30th. Let's just try to get through the next few weeks without any major action and get to the end without too much more happening. Of course, we were hit by barrel in Houston back on July 8th. So one hurricane is more than enough for this season. So hopefully that will be it. But keep checking back day by day for more updates on what could happen next week in the Gulf of Mexico. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Have an awesome weekend. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade.